morning guys welcome back today i will talk about one of the important annotation one of the important annotations in jmock it called mocked um mocked has multiple purposes but in today's example that what i'm going to share is how to mock a particular type only for a particular test method this will be very useful when especially when you work in a legacy code base um the example that I'm going to write is based on my experience where imagine that you have a class hierarchy um, like this C S tends B and the B S tends A so you have three level of classes the A, B and the C C is the most subtype and on the leaf level and um, then the method that you are going to test is on C now to instantiate C you will have to instantiate both B and a because there could be cons you know parameters constructors which is passed in all the way up and some of the state has to be initialized in b and a to have uh, c properly initialized but you are not interested in initializing all three and you don't have that much data you don't have to focus on testing b and a at the moment so what you can do is you can actually you know, avoid calling the super constructors using this mocked annotation. Now I'll show you how it is. So let's test. Let's create a test for the subclass. Test subclass. And obviously this is going to test subclass. So since the subclass is not like existing, just create a subclass in the main and this subclass is extending another class so we will name it as superclass right and say subclass extends superclass now this has got a constructor subclass has got a constructor subclass which um, takes some data final string data this dot data this dot data is equal to data all right now let's create that attribute private string string Data. Right now, imagine that your superclass also has got a constructor public superclass final string data. Well, what we are going to test is we don't want to initialize this, so how are we going to test this? So, we will throw a throw new illegal argument exception from here right i'll say don't call me please i am not interested right now you'll have to delegate your call to super class right super constructor rather mm, that is done since that is done, let's go and finish the test case. All right now, say public void should get data. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create subclass, new subclass of data. And then I say assert equals data subclass don't get data. So get data as indexes. So we will create a create a method get data here and then say return data. All right. So that is done. Now let's import assert equals. All right. 
and run this test case. What do you expect? You expect is to fail because the super constructor will call a little, you know, throw an illegal argument exception. So please don't call me. Now you want to test your subtype without initializing the super type. What do you do? And this is not a realistic, this, this example is not realistic, but you know, when you work on a real code base, this is a realistic scenario where, uh, you know, you may have to have uh, n number of state to initialize your super type, but you don't have to have to take all the pain to initialize your super type because you're only testing your subtype and one particular method in the subtype that you newly added. So this is when uh, JMocket will come to your rescue, right? There's an annotation called mocked just put this in final super class super class so now you will get a mocked instance of super class and uh, you know your super class will not be constructor will not be get initialized so this is you must be must be aware of this when you use jmocket you can actually parameterize your test um, you cannot parameterize you cannot add parameters in your test when uh, you don't have JMocket otherwise JUnit doesn't allow you to have test cases with uh, parameters right so here this is what will help you mock the notation to avoid initializing the superclass so if this superclass annotation was in constructor was called we would have got this particular particular uh, exception take this out and run it again and see it yourself right see please don't call me don't call me please so the mocked will actually help you to avoid the call to the super type this will be very very useful when you work on a legacy code base thank you very much for watching and see you on the other side